Imagine the trouble that physically challenged persons in Kenya have to go through when responding to the call of nature. Now, unlike majority of Kenyans who have an option of privacy more often than not, it is not a pleasant experience for this category of persons, which also includes the elderly and those who are bedridden. Well, that trouble could soon be eased thanks to the latest innovation by a 26-year-old lady in Kenya who is changing the lives of physically challenged persons. And as Raquel Moigai reports, those who have benefited from the innovation are slowly regaining a sense of hope in their already challenging lives. Take a look. The lavatory or washroom is a place we escape to, a sort of sanctuary when nature calls. It provides some sense of inbuilt expectation of privacy and a respect for personal space. However, it is a privilege, as not everyone gets to fully enjoy its existence or its benefits. Following the loss of her right lower limb in 2013 as a result of a road accident, the mother of five has had to use a tin which had its own challenges. Veronica Nyaboke's story is an excerpt of the daily lives of those who are physically challenged. A category that not only includes persons living with disability, but also the elderly persons, as well as those who are bedridden. For the latter categories of persons, bed puns have always been used by their caregivers, as their locomotive abilities have restricted them to such aspects of daily living activities. It is from that gap that 26-year-old Sylvia Nyaga's idea grew from, that of a portable toilet to assist those who are faced with such challenges. The toilet consists of two tanks, the upper one being for water storage and the bottom one for waste storage. First you prepare it for use and how you do that is you add water to the water storage tank. It's filled manually so it does not need any external connection. And then after you fill your tank you need to prepare the waste storage tank which, which is at the bottom and how you do that is you slide it open. When you slide this open it gives you access to the tank at the bottom and then you add a biological waste digester and mix it with water and what this does is it digests the waste in there which will ensure that there's no odor coming from it and it ensures that the emptying process is easy. The final product so far is as a result of a piloting phase that took place in 2019 where the initial toilet made was issued to those in informal settlements, especially those who live in such shared spaces. We initially didn't have footrests. We added footrests just for comfort. We also didn't have products that were specifically, like we didn't, we, we didn't have something that was specifically tailored to someone who had cerebral palsy. But because of feedback from the market, we've been able to know what to add, what to remove, yeah, how to make the the user experience easier even just when it comes to folding the frame so that you can store it away. Velmo Chiang is one of those who cannot hide her joy as a 16-year-old son who has cerebral palsy can now respond to the call of nature with ease than before. Sylvia Nyaga maintains that the portable toilet does not need emptying after every use due to the biodigester, a product that is provided when you initially purchase the toilet. The idea being welcomed by the National Council for Persons with Disability and those who are benefiting from it. It's embarrassing that people will you into the toilet. That's why some people are very careful with what food they eat. Not that they don't want to eat those foods. They're wondering where will they be going.
haki niko comfortable chu naenda na Marisa wiki moja ama wiki mbili ndio mtoto ananimwagia sasa hii niko comfortable na hiyo chu hata kukaa saa kwa kukaa huko niko comfortable sana a very exciting time for Kenya because it has shown that solutions for persons with disability that can make their day to day life easy can actually come from uh, within uh, at a much affordable cost uh, and also meet uh, the, the various needs of persons with disability. Sylvia's innovation has seen her get two awards, one from the Ministry of Water and Irrigation in 2019 and another in 2021. Her biggest challenge at the moment remains to be production, as she is now doing a hybrid of both locally and internationally sourced out materials. Our current plan of improving and increasing production is through funding from Balena Biz, which is a project by the government of Kenya. We'll be able to buy our own machines and be able to do the production internally as opposed to outsourcing. And if you do internal production, it means that the processes are faster, they're better, we are able to improve it faster, it means the quality is better. Her dream is to ensure that whatever products she comes up with caters specifically to every person, be it a custom-made wheelchair like this one that allows one to answer the call of nature with little to no movement from their chair or otherwise. Raquel Muigai, Citizen TV.